Got one, Riley. Here we got one. We got one. There you go. There you go. Oh, spirit, spirit. Get that. We got him, Brooklyn. Here, grab the roll the other spear. No, I got him. I got one. I got one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. No, it's the ten wrong. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it was oh, not. No, I think it's Bryce, hey, it's Bryce just fixed it. Bryce is right there. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, you got it, you got it. Gap, 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 Is it taking up, guys? So, those are some of the highlights from the last couple years. And on this video, you'll be seeing some of last year's success and the THP news crew did some interviews with fellow Spears. They followed me right inside the kitchen door and picked me up the next day. <laughs> so kick back, relax, and enjoy the story of our 2022 Sturgeon season. This is this yep. bot, huh? Yep, position it. Cody's got him pinned down there. You can see all the suck holes on the bottom with their naked eye with the door open. You don't need to. You don't even need pipes here. Well, how the hell could you? Did not look that clear then. Yeah. Well, you, you can see something. Oh yeah. You, you can, can see, see all the, the bottom. Get that this one. Put that on the right one. It's the bottom. And that's bottom. It's pretty good. Nine yeah. feet. And it's hard. You're definitely gonna be able to see one if it swims in there. Yeah. Throw that disco ball down there and <laughs> things are going to be happening. <laughs> the dance will start. Where is that? Throw it out in there once. Yeah, it's... Um, well, you probably scare them all off by me then. <laughs> no fish so far? Oh, not yet. I don't know. I don't like that you guys aren't seeing fish already. That's that white right there. It's virgin. Stuff moving out, moving around down there. Can't <laughs> <laughs> see some bait fish swimming around. Some good? stuff kicking up. Yeah, there's something over there moving around. Awesome. Hi guys. Right. Danny, yep. I seen a nice big one go across the bottom on a sturgeon. It was a. Uh, it must have been like a lawyer or maybe it was a northern. Yeah. A lot of people moving in. Yeah, we got a lot of companies since you guys left. <laughs> Where you guys at? Wait. Yeah. Cody just cut him down. Oh, you just got Cody set up now? Mm -hmm. Were they gonna sit and look for a little bit, him and his dad, yeah, or no? No, they're gonna go home. We haven't cut the two other shacks in yet, so we're gonna cut those up. You oh. can see the zebra mussels on the bottom and everything. Yeah, no pipes over there. Really? Yeah, oh, Cody it. don't need no pipes? 11 feet, I think. No. Are you no, kidding it's me? Nine. Nine. Yeah. Really? Mm hmm. Wow. I don't think it's quite as muddy as it is here on the bottom, but it's. No Spears are about to start cutting in two days before the season, and getting all the shacks in place is definitely a team effort, and it seems like the temperatures always have to be in the negatives on cut-in day. The steps go as following. Mark the hole, take the saw, cut it out, sink the cake, and bank the shack. And that's to help insulate the shack and keep sunlight out so fish are easier to see. This group isn't your typical sturgeon spearing crew. Sturgeon virgin never been out on the ice more than about 10, 15 feet, so this is all new to me. And today, they travel about three miles out on the Lake Winnebago to cut holes and set up their shanties for the weekend. It'll be a once in a lifetime trip for me. It's one of the coolest things I've ever heard of, so I'm really excited to be here. And while sturgeon spearing isn't something these guys ever thought they'd be doing, it's a nice fishing before in the past, but nothing at this scale. This is this is really something special. Being together with other veterans is bringing back that sense of camaraderie, that joy and brotherhood is exactly what House in the Woods is all about. And trips like this are making a difference in the veterans' lives. I'm stressed. We gotta get out there. Why are you stressed? Because I'm just that's me. Because you're the tag holder. <laughs> you're like I gotta <laughs> call this tag. Got I just gotta oh. get out there. Alright, well we're just pulling in. Um, we'll see you in like two minutes. Hey.
and welcome back to the 2022 Turd Sturgeon Spirit <laughs> Event here at Turgeon. Wins on the Lake. Brought to you from Wins on the Lake. We're ready. Are you guys ready? So oh. ready. Besides, we don't have a driver. We're silent. We're silent. We should do it. Take it. That was a funny thing. Alright, go ahead. I hope we get one in the first five minutes so we can just be done. <laughs> well, we gotta get two. Oh, yeah, we're selling the tank too. Maybe we end up getting two first. Get the gear. I'm just getting the food. <laughs> What's the set's looking like everywhere else? They feel pretty confident, it seems like, so. What do you think the odds are today? You think we got high odds of getting a key? I, I think somebody might see one. I don't know if we'll get it, actually. It, it didn't come through the hole? Like, it didn't no, it, it did not come through the hole, no. I just saw his fins from the, the like, the corner of my eye, and over the corner of the shack, I should say. Well, I got the throw spear. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Yeah. All right, well, Damn. you got your spear and everything back up? Tom, yeah, she's, Tom didn't she's see connected. it. You could see it good though. Yes, yeah, yeah, I saw it real good. Hmm. Well, he'll be back. I mean, just keep you just keep doing what you're doing. And yeah. All right. I just wanted to tell you. Tell you. I like to get a little coffee scent in the water. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> scent in there. Yep. Bye. Yeah, I like that smell. <laughs> Like, what the no, obviously what I'm doing is not working. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I've seen Jake Spear one in the last two years. Everything I know about Sturgeon Spear was disproven in the past year, couple of years of Jake. So. <laughs> so I don't care what you do at this point. I got the rest of the season to sit quietly in the shack for themselves. So. They see that coffee mug, and then they get that whiff of coffee, and they're like, oh, this is what I should be doing this morning. I just saw. Really? Freaking all you want to put it on speaker? <laughs> Jake's down there, I think. Well, I don't know where he is. I'll call Jake. He was going by Cody. I'll call him once. All right. All right, bye. Second one registered today for 2022. <laughs> all right, another nice one. Yeah. She all was. Right. Yeah. We'll see if it's a girl or a boy. Yeah. We guessed yeah, 50 yeah. pounds, so let's see what the, the scale says. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. There we go. What a beautiful day, huh? Yeah. God, hey, where's the scale telling us? It's right here. Oh, I see. Okay. 60.4. 60. 60.4. 60. Hold ya. Yeah, we got her. <laughs> How long? 60.8. 60.60. Yeah. The 60, now 60 I better go get a lottery ticket. <laughs> No, I got the lottery. That's like <laughs> you better see a than model any... tag in it anywhere, huh? No. What are you doing there? Pretty good one. We're yeah, checking for yeah, a pit it tag. It was awesome. It was. We beautiful. put tags in these fish, and they're embedded underneath their skin. How that one way? No pit tag. And what kind of info do you get from that then? Well, that basically identifies the fish, so it's almost like giving it a name. Like your name's Fred Smith. Mm -hmm. It'll have an individual number, so we'll know when we tagged it, how much it's grown since, every time we've encountered that fish. And then some of these, when we stock them, we'll put that pit tag in there so we know exactly how old it is, and it's a known age fish. Right. So on those fish, we'll actually take the head so we can get the otolith, so we can look at the otolith to help us refine our aging process for sturgeon. Yeah. Thanks for all your efforts. No, of course. Congratulations, Yeah, yeah thank you. We're halfway to thank you. Female. I'm not seeing identified yellow. I'm seeing the folds. It's bigger than my thumb, so that's F1. Yeah, three. Yep. Three. You want to come check it? Yep. That'd be F1. That's what I would call this, the same yeah, as the left. Yep. F1, perfect. Okay, what else do we need from this fish? And that's it. Okay. Oh, oh, perfect, thank you guys. Thanks, guys. Good question. We'll see question. you again today. Yeah. yeah. Let's go get the next one. Let's be let's be the uh, sturgeon registry. <laughs> sturgeon, <laughs> yep. Ten bucks a fish. <laughs> get me up there. Oh, my God. That was a thrill of a kill. That was a thrill for... Both of you. He's already trying to figure out who's going to line up. I know to sit in it tomorrow because yeah. he, he, he don't have to. I was just saying earlier, it's like a lot of people get fired up about this, but I think Sherry might get as fired up as anybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure yeah. What's up, buddy? You going to Wentz? <laughs> Us too. 
Y'all headed over to Wentz? Okay. Okay, that's where we'll meet you. Tired. He's built for this. Yeah, we'll kind of just. To, okay, welcome to Sturgeon's Ferry 2022. Here we are on Lake Winnebago in Wisconsin for the Sturgeon Spearing event 2022. Jacob, how did opening day go? I got one, one fish down in the group. And Kate got one, but I think this is going to be probably one of the most interesting parts of the video. We're going to do some interviews here. Zach and Ted are going to walk around and interview some people. So there should be some pretty interesting content here, I'd imagine. It's going to be pretty ridiculous. Let's hear it, buddy. All right, what would you prefer? Would you rather hunt or would you rather Sturgeon Spear? I'd rather hunt in Ohio with muzzle on <laughs> Right there. <laughs> so we're gonna walk around, we're gonna ask some questions and see what people have to say. Sturgeon spearing. It's awesome. Alright everybody, we're here with Amy Try first. And she speared a sturgeon today. So tell us about that experience. Um it came into the hole kind of out of nowhere. Uh, I saw two Are you serious? Yes, I am completely serious. I was looking down in the hole, we were camera spearing, and then I looked up at the TV screen and there were two black lines, and I was like, that's a f***ing fish. <laughs> and I just, I, I grabbed the spear, and I, honestly, I yelled at my husband, I was like, where? And I still just, like, threw. <laughs> nice, congratulations. Thank you. So is that your favorite sturgeon spearing memory? It's, yes, it's my first fish, so. It's my only sturgeon spearing memory. Would you say that you would rather sturgeon spear or would you rather hunt? That's a tough one. I'm such a bow hunter. I love it. I think I would choose bow hunting still over spearing. Okay. What's your <laughs> so what's your favorite part about sturgeon spearing? Just the adrenaline rush. It all happens within a second. You gotta love it when they come out of nowhere yeah. like that. Now we're here with Austin Dreyfers. Right, so what's your favorite sturgeon spearing memory? My first fish, 2014, I speared a 50 pounder, my dad speared an 82 pounder. That's a pretty good. Memory. And I met her, I met my wife. <laughs> the same all, all three. Yep. Final question Would you rather sturgeon spear or go hunting? Sturgeon spear. <laughs> is way more rush. Come October, November, I live in the woods, but I'd rather spear fish. I know you're considering it. You're not, you I want to. to. Hear. <laughs> All right, everybody. We're here with Joe Dempsey. Clayton Kreiser. What is your guys' favorite sturgeon spearing memory? It would have to be my first fish two years ago. Just came in, full order, nice and high, stabbed it in the back, called it a day. <laughs> it is what it is. I like, to, you like letting us know that it was a floater. That's interesting, because you don't hear about that a lot. A lot of times, like, you know, you see him kind of come in love with the floater. That's pretty sweet. I'd like to be a part of a floater one of these days. Would you guys rather sturgeon spear or go hunting? Spearing. Spearing. He speared one. No. Nah. Yeah, he did. We're here with Jacob. All right, so tell us what happened out there on the ice today. It just came in really quick, and uh, I just threw the spear, I guess. I don't know. It was too fast to remember. How deep was he? Uh, 13 feet. So were you using the camera setup, or could you see the bottom? We were using camera setup, but you could see the bottom, yes. So How many sturgeon have you speared? Uh, today was my fifth. Yeah, That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So would you rather sturgeon spear, or would you rather hunt? Oh. Uh, I'd, say, I'd say spear, yeah. You know what the best part about that question is, is everybody we've asked so far has been like, ooh. Like, and there's nobody that's like, oh, I don't hunt. No, it, it's hard, yeah. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. <laughs> so how long have you been spearing? Uh, probably, like, probably 10 years I've been out on the ice spearing. All right, so what's your favorite sturgeon spearing memory? Uh, I guess everyone's a memory, but I'd say probably my first one, my biggest fish so far. Uh, it was probably my best memory, though. All right, well, thank you, Jacob. We appreciate your time, man. Thank you. Congrats on the fish. Thank you. We're here with Abby. Abby, what's your favorite sturgeon spearing memory? Um, probably today when Jacob speared his. It was my second fish uh, that I saw getting speared. It was pretty cool. It was a mess though. My friend Luke injured his finger actually. He's he accidentally speared his finger. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get. Yeah, we need to get. We need to get Luke on about that. Would you rather sturgeon spear or go hunting? I'd rather go hunting. Maybe. 
when I spear and fish, it'll change, but hunting for sure. All right, everybody. We're here with Josh Holtz and <laughs> that's Croy, my son. How long have you been sturgeon spearing? Uh, since I was old enough, which is 14. So how many sturgeon have you speared? I've gotten five. What's your favorite sturgeon spearing memory? Probably when I speared my biggest fish, it was 97 pounds. Uh, we killed, I think, six that day. Me and my dad both tagged out that day, so it was pretty cool. Would you rather sturgeon spear or would you rather go hunting? Sturgeon spear all day. Nothing beats the adrenaline rush when you get one. So would you say that's your favorite part of sturgeon spearing? Oh yeah, there, there ain't nothing like it. I mean, it's awesome when you shoot a big buck, but spearing a sturgeon, it's, you, your mind goes blank. It's awesome. <laughs> well, the, re the reactions tell it all, I think. Everybody just basically black out. It's so funny. Yeah, it's there's nothing like it. It's unexplainable. Should we go up by the fish and get more like action by the fish? We're here with Jordan. Jordan, you speared one today. Yeah, a pretty big one. Tell us about it. I was getting late and a couple guys <laughs> speared some already in the group. We were seeing them all all day, you know. And just knew it was a matter of time. One come through, and that's all she wrote. Did you make a good hit on it? Yeah, I drove it. I drove it. <laughs> Could you see the bottom or were you running cameras? Uh, it was a mix, but mainly camera. So how many years have you been sturgeon spearing? Uh, I don't know, ever since I was could walk, basically. So how many sturgeon have you speared? Uh, eight of them. <laughs> <laughs> so would you rather go sturgeon spearing or hunting? Uh, I think you get a bigger adrenaline rush definitely spearing a sturgeon. You know, it only lasts a little bit, but it's worth it. It's awesome. This kid right here, you got her. Nick Halfman. Nice to meet you, Nick. How many years have you been sturgeon spearing? Uh, I think the first year I went out, I was five, and I'll be 40, so a long time. <laughs> So how many sturgeon have you speared prior, or today uh, included? It's like number 12 or 13. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. My biggest. I think, I think you've got the highest number of anybody we've asked so far. What's your favorite sturgeon spearing memory? You've probably got too many to count. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> sleeping on the kitchen floor when your buddies pick you up the next day? I don't know. <laughs> Perfect. That's, a good, that's, a good, that's great. That's the best memory of me. Yeah. <laughs> they found me right inside the kitchen door and picked me up the next day. <laughs> So, would you rather sturgeon spear or would you rather go hunting? You can't, you can't deer hunt now, so I mean. So we don't have to, we don't have to make that yeah, decision. Yeah, how can you compare? You, you can't, can't deer hunt now. Okay, he's right. Yeah. So that's it. Thanks, thanks, dude. Hundred pounders a booner. <laughs> There's like four fish back here. All right, everybody, we're here with Roman Muki. And we've got an entire truck full of fish here. So what's the story on this today? Well, we were all kind of in the same area around zone or like close towards and uh, we were kind of in a circle with each other and I was set up in a nice spot. This one and I believe this one were speared in the same spot. But it was, a, it was a very fun day. So how long have you been sturgeon spearing? Uh, since I was like 12 years old. Kind of. I mean, my family's been here forever, so. Uh, but last year I got my first one. This is the second one this year, so it's very fun, very fun to do. So what's your favorite sturgeon spearing memory? Honestly, even though I got one, it's almost more fun to go in a shack and see someone else get one. Like last year after I got mine, I have like I went to my cousin's shack and he got it right like close to one o'clock with like five people in there all having fun so it's it's almost more fun to see someone else get one I mean like big group and just enjoying it all together what's your favorite part about it hanging out with friends and family and just having a great time it's it's awesome she killed the big one do you want to do you want to do an interview yeah oh god i don't know about that uh, i mean you just got your a huge fish it's my biggest fish ever 80.7 pounds Jeez. how long with this guy right here What's your name? Easton. Nice to meet you, Easton. <laughs> we saw it on the camera, and then all of a sudden Trump came right in, and Lucas is like, it's right there, it's right there. And I saw it, I threw it, and the rest is history. From last year, my 35-pounder, which I was grateful for, but getting an 80 would be my biggest ever. It was awesome. And having him along. So how many sturgeon have you speared? We were talking about that on the way here. I think about seven or eight of them. What's so it's been fun. It's, but to get one that's 80 pounds, 
and seeing the black eggs in it, that was just, it was crazy. It was awesome. <laughs> What's your favorite part about Sturgeon's Ferry? Family. Everybody coming together and everybody just being together and then sharing that moment with everyone. And seeing the fish come through, it's just, it's insane. It's adrenaline. It's crazy. So, final question, would you rather hunt or sturgeon spear? Sturgeon spear. Sturgeon spear by far. <laughs> but do you hunt? I do. I do. And I've shot a lot of decent sized bucks too, but there's just something about sturgeon spearing that adrenaline, it just gets to you. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, man. Here, you can go five. Yeah. You did great today, yeah. man. Will you answer a couple quick questions? Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you my story. This is my first year. Is it? Yes, my first year. Last year I sat with my son. I didn't see nothing. This year Cody missed one right away in the morning. And I missed one in the uh, late morning. <laughs> so overdue. <laughs> What's your favorite part about sturgeon spearing? Like this year was my first year cutting in. I never did that before. Very interesting. I didn't, you know. Like my wife says, take a video of them guys taking that ice chunk out of the hole. No, it doesn't come out of the hole. It goes in the hole. So, no stuff like that. It was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hooked. So would you rather go sturgeon spearing or hunting? Both. You see, everybody everybody tries to decide, but you don't really have to decide because they're not really at the same time. Yes. So either I'm in my sturgeon shack or I'm in my tree. I can't hear my wife. <laughs> I love her. I love her. But I can't hear her. <laughs> She don't watch this show, so she's never going to see it. <laughs> Good. Great enough of that. That's What was that? Oh, God. Your drink. Don't fall in. How does the spirit come off? Back? I have to pull it back? Practice like I'm you're actually scared. gonna do it. You're not gonna do it one handed, are you? No, I'm scared. Kind of. Is that quiet? Mm, ideally, a little quieter. Okay. You can put it like right on the edge of the thing if you want. You kind of want to be able to do it without having to look at it, too. I'm just making sure I don't drop it on there soon. Mm -hmm. Give me like five minutes and then I'll try again. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, like a seasoned pro. Just moving it around there. Yeah. She's over there. You want to turn it. If you're swimming that way, you want to turn it so it's wide. Yeah. Like Seems like there might be a little mud over the pipes right there and over there. Yeah. What does that mean? Some sturgeon might have swam across it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Uh -huh. I saw that this morning. Oh, God. I wish myself. Come and get us. Stand up. Stay there. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Jesus. Pop it up. How do I do that? Get the gap, Jake. Get the gap. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Watch the spear. Watch the spear. Watch the spear. Oh, my God. Get up. Get up. Oh, my God. Oh. Get over here and look at this thing. She got one. What's that? Well, it's, we gotta close the hole up. Oh, man. I got one! Shh, Crystal. Here 
breathe. That's a test. Oh my God. I can't breathe. Oh, here. I take a Oh, oh my god. I guess so. Oh, it's so good job. Dad? He hung up on me. <laughs> Come on, we gotta get, get set back up. We yeah, really we, do. We gotta get it set up. Good job. Oh my god, John. Oh my god. I'm going to set and try to get this set up. Yeah, get it set up and call us. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> Shut the door. Come on. We'll, we'll get it set up. What'd you oh, say? We'll get it set up. Not if you want your phone. Oh, Thank you. We're going to be paying attention. How big do you think it is? I don't know. 65, 70 pounds? <laughs> you guys know the speed of the rock. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I thought he was going to get off, honestly. Just uh, when I watched you throw it, I'm like, oh boy. Because <laughs> I knew it was in his tail and I knew he was going to take off a bunch. Yeah. And he popped off right when I gaffed him, I think. Mm -hmm. Crystal got her one. Yeah. We're going to get somebody else set up back in the shack now because there's fish around here. You ever done something like that before? <laughs> we were just looking at that picture and you go, think about something like that. <laughs> Nice. I'm so happy about that. So I have to say thanks to Grandpa. Yeah. Oh, he'll be happy too. Hello. The lucky shack. You better not have got that shanty on, buddy. <laughs> There's a little bit in there, but. Oh, you can tell her she can bring her scrub brush and stuff on her. <laughs> I'm sure she will. She's pretty tickled. <laughs> that was pretty nice. Yeah, she saw him and everything. He came through right under our feet. Yep, I think it should have got it. Must be the first one today then, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's a nice one. He's long. What's your guess, Crystal? How many pounds? 78 pounds. Not bad for the first one, huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, anything would have done. 67 incher. That's what I was going for. <laughs> There's the guide there. <laughs> Thanks for letting me sit there. Whoa! <laughs> 75 pounds. 78. Really? Yep. Yeah, 78.5. Wow. Yeah. Thanks for letting me sit there. <laughs> that was so fun.